Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use Ahrefs in 10 minutes or less. Let's get started. So the purpose of this video is not to dive in depth with each tool. I'm going to do that in the next couple videos I put in this series. This is ju just to look at Ahrefs, the back end, and so you know what you're getting when you're paying that huge monthly fee that Ahrefs asks you for. Excuse me. This is the dashboard. When you first log into uh, Ahrefs, you're going to see your projects here. I've already added one project. And uh, if you just logged in for the first time, you're not going to see anything here. Uh, but basically, a project is just a culmination of all of Ahrefs tools, but for a static site. So it's going to give you constant updates on all of your projects. Uh, you can also track your keywords, and you can do regular site audits. So let's dive into the first tool the Site Explorer. So I'm just going to be a little bit ironic here and I'm going to look up Ahrefs in their own Site Explorer. Let's see what we find. So you can find the monthly organic traffic, you can find the, the number of backlinks, the organic keywords, you have these uh, graphs here that tell you about the uh, referring domains over time. And if you scroll down further you can see the CTLDs distribution, you can see how many backlinks are coming from .in websites, for example, or .ru or .com. Uh, you can see your most popular anchor text in those backlinks. This is information you don't typically get with uh, other site explorers. So Ahrefs really is a powerful tool for uh, looking at backlinks. And I have found, in my experience, that their backlink uh, data is the best. It's, it's better than uh, SEMrush or Moz. It's better than Neil Patel's site explorer. Uh, it's more accurate. It's not 100% accurate, but it is much better. So uh, you can also see the organic traffic over time, the organic keywords, and so on and so forth. Your top organic keywords, your top organic pages are all listed here on the organic search tab. Lastly, there's the paid search tab where you can see what keywords they're bidding for. So they're bidding for SEO keywords according to Ahrefs index and uh, this is 51% of their traffic is for SEO keywords. So uh, you can kind of get an idea of what your competitors are doing uh, in organic search and in paid search. Everything on the left here is basically an in-depth dive to all the information that you're seeing here in these three tabs. So let's move on to the Keywords Explorer. This is another powerful tool that Ahrefs offers. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a very general keyword. I'm going to select Google, I'm going to select the United States, and I'm going to search. So it'll tell me the keyword difficulty, it'll tell me the search volume per month in the United States, it'll tell me the number of clicks, and it'll give me the global volume. If you head over to the left, uh, you'll see the phrase match tab, and this will give you more ideas for keywords, it'll give you a better idea of what the keyword group is all about. So when I type in SEO, I see this SEO, uh, South Korean celebrity, his name pop up everywhere. Uh, so I'm just going to exclude June. And this is why I like this tool, because I can use these filters. Uh, so here's another uh, Korean name here. I'm going to separate these with a comma and exclude that. So now I get a really clean list of keywords related to SEO. Um, this is very, very helpful, very uh, in-depth. You get the search volume and, and your country that you select, and uh, it's great for discovering new keywords for local businesses or uh, for finding topics for your blog. So I'm going to move on to the site audit. I already have my project here because I previously created my project, but um, the site audit is a bit more complicated. It's one of the more complex features that Ahrefs offers, but uh, this is also one of the most helpful that I have found. It will help you fix up the technical issues on your website, and uh, let's just dive into my project real quick. In, in the next video, I'm going to teach you how to use the site audit. but. Uh, on the uh, dashboard for this site audit, this particular crawl that I just had done, 
you can sort the issues by uh, severity. So that's what I really like about this. So I'm getting some uh, pages that are indexable and yet are missing a meta description tag. So those are, those are things that I'll definitely want to fix. Um, and you can look at all of these problems. If you click into any one of these, uh, you can see more information on it. You can see exactly uh, uh, how to fix the problem, where the problem is. It's a very, very, very powerful tool. So the next uh, tab here is the rank tracker. The rank tracker is uh, fairly interesting. So I'm going to take a look at uh, the project I just created. Um, in here, you can see uh, I'm tracking some keywords. Uh, if you want, you can add more keywords to this project. Um, you can select your geographic location. You can uh, select by the country or by the city. And uh, it is very, very uh, powerful at... Uh, let, let's look up a keyword here. It's very powerful at uh, discovering your ranking in a particular geographic location. So. Uh, I'm just going to plug this in, and uh, within moments, it's going to give me some information on that. So here it is, the keyword I just added, and in a few moments, it's going to populate with some more data for me. But we don't need to wait for that. Let's move on to the Content Explorer. This is a tool that I, I like very much, and it's a very unique tool. So let's go ahead and let's look up SEO, and I'll show you what this tool is all about. This is going to show me every single article in Ahrefs database in their index that is related to whatever query I put in the top here. So I've chosen SEO, and now you can see every article that Ahrefs has in their index, 24.3 million that mention SEO either in the title, in the content, or in the URL. And then you can further uh, filter it down. Uh, a popular filter is the one page per domain. So you're not seeing multiple articles from the same websites. Uh, so now we've brought it down to 3.4 million. You can sort it by language. You can sort it by any one of these number of things. I'm going to dive into this later in more detail. Uh, if you head over to the More tab, you can see a number of other tools. These are these are uh, less important, but uh, one that I really like is the SEO toolbar. Um, I've installed it myself. I'm not going to go over it in this video, but the SEO toolbar basically is going to let you uh, do href searches anytime. Let's let's look up uh, let's look up something I've looked up recently. For example, if you have the Ahrefs tool installed, you're going to see. Uh, the search data, the key, uh, the information on each one of these web pages inside of Google Search itself. So this is going to save you a lot of time when you're doing backlink pros prospecting. We're going to go over that in another video. Uh, so that's all for the brief overview. I hope that uh, you got something valuable from this. If uh, you'd like to like, comment, and, and subscribe, I would very much appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.